I recently watched an excellent interview with Margaret Atwood where she talks about a variety of things, including her five pieces of advice for new writers, which are all great. But something else stuck out to me the most. She said, all writing is optimistic. And I'm definitely an optimist. I've got a tattoo on my wrist that says stay positive and a tattoo on my arm that says there's always hope. So I was interested to see what she meant. She's not talking about the content that's being written. She was talking about the craft of writing. She broke it down into the optimism required at every stage of writing a book. First, when you set out to write a book, you're engaging in an act of optimism because you think you're going to finish it. Then, when you finish it, you think it will be good. And since you think it will be good, you think someone will publish it. And finally, and perhaps the most optimistic thing for a writer, is that if it is published, you hope someone will want to read it. Now hold on, hold on. This video is meant to encourage you, so here's the point. When you start writing your novel, you should assume that you will finish it. And when you finish it, you should think it will be good after editing and such. And after the editing process is complete, you should think it's publishable, either traditionally or independently. And of course, once it's published, you should assume that someone will want to read it. I believe that. I have to believe that. But again, I'm an optimist. I believe there can't be too many stories out there. So go on, write the story you want to write, finish your book. Until next time, jump, build, fly. This video's featured indie book is American Howl by Luke Smith. Set in an America populated by petty and often pathetic gods, American Howl relates the struggle of food service workers on a fateful Super Bowl Sunday. During the rush, a gang of delivery drivers revolts to exact vengeance upon abusive customers. While the drivers fight for dignity, the surge of orders for chicken wings and pizzas turns a gluttonous evening into a chaotic nightmare. Pick up your copy of American Howl, written in epic poem form, today. I want to feature your indie book at the end of an upcoming video. Head over to my website, fcschultz.com featured to submit your book, and you might see it at the end of an upcoming video.